Hey guys, it's DJ AJ here. You're back with another video for you, and as you probably know, it's been a while since I made a video because life kind of gets in the way. You know, you like to do more than just make videos for YouTube. But anyways, so a lot of you know, I used to run a DJing business for about 10 years. It was kind of my side business. Nice extra money and got to own a lot of cool equipment and use it back in the day. Sold to a good friend of mine, and now I'm just kind of rebuilding a smaller setup that probably is equally as powerful as the setup I used to have. But I'd always like to, you know, try out new equipment and see how it sounds. And I did get a couple of these HDL 6As from RCF. As you can kind of see up there, I have a couple of retro SP4s from PV. And then I have a couple of uh, RCF HDL 6s up there. And I want another stack for my other side there. And there is a sub back there. Hopefully I'll talk a little bit about this setup that I have here again. Kind of a smaller setup and I'm not all about looking fancy and everything else. It's more just the fact that I love how this setup sounds. But anyways, getting back to our, you know star of the show today, the HDL6 in the box. Just to kind of give you guys an idea, if you guys decide to purchase any of these speakers, kind of what they look like, that is the side of the box. We're gonna swing this box around so you can see this side of it. Again, basically all the features. It does have a 1,400 watt amplifier uh, that has peak power, otherwise 700 watt RMS, along with all the other good stuff that it says about the speaker. And of course, on the back, pretty much the exact same thing. Let's jump into the box, see what's in it. Of course, opening up the box, I decided to cut it because I'm using my phone to record this. It has a couple of heavy duty box staples in there to keep the box closed. And again, what we have on top here is you can actually build your own power connectors. So we have the power con connectors right here that are included with that. A couple for in and out. Throw those off to the side here real quick. And other than that, we have the speaker in the box. I actually ordered a pair of these. The other one's right over here. And if you order a pair from your dealer or your website or whoever you order them through. So as you can see, the speaker is right here wrapped in plastic. Now I'm going to pull this out of the box, set it on the table, and then we can go around and see what the speaker all has to offer. So I just pulled the speaker out of the box and there it is in its plastic. Also at the bottom of the box, you get an RCF manual with all your warranty information. And again, it does come with a two-year warranty from RCF. Great to have considering one of my other speakers right up there actually had a bad pin uh, cable that actually is attached to the speaker. Again, we will look at that, but this is just the manual uh, in case you need all the specifications of the speaker. And also one last thing here is the PowerCon speaker um, power cable that it comes with. It's about a six foot long cable. Again, not very long, but these are basically great for if you're doing what I'm doing with the speakers up on my SP2s, um, you have a nice short cable that you can just plug into a longer cable. Otherwise, you can just make your own cable with the included um, connectors for the power con. But again, it does come with a six foot uh, power con cable uh, that you can use with these speakers. So here's the front grill of the speaker. Again, very heavy duty steel. Um, you can't dent this. You can feel it has a nice sound to it. Exterior of the cabinet is actually made out of uh, plastic, so it actually makes this unit nice and light. Um, so I don't know very much about line array speakers. I don't own any other than these RCF HDL 6As, but I do know that this is probably one of the lightest cabinets on the market for the sound that it produces because, again, it is made out of the plastic, has the metal grill. The one thing you will realize is it has two six inch speakers right here as well as the horn in the middle and you can get all that information from hdl's um, i'm sorry rcf's website for this particular model you will notice your mounting pins up here you have mounts on the bottom and on the top and you can actually just remove these and it's super simple to pop another set on top of here and just put the pin right back in hold down the pin and there you go and it's going to mount on the left or the right side and again you can use on the top or the bottom as you can see right there so looking at the back of your hdl6 here you can see that you have xlr balanced in and output um, for your sound you also have your volume control right here and then you have your limiter signal and your power light indicator right here the only real option you have for the speaker is your high frequency boost on or off again these would be for your long range top cabinets if you are doing it in a line array for live sound. You have your 1400 watt amp right here. You also have another pin as far as all the degree markings for actually using this thing. And again, you can pull this out. This will actually come up. And of course, it doesn't help that I have it laying on its face right now to give you guys a little bit better lighting. But again, this would come up so you can mount your 
uh, next speaker up here using this pin in either one of your holes right here. So again, and all the degree markings are right here for whatever angle that you would like to put these at. Um, so that can come back down there. Again, you can house the pin back right there in its hole. And coming right here to the right side of the speaker, you have your uh, 20 amp fuse. Again, this does run off of 115. Um, you can see that you have your power con in, power con out. You have very nice handles right here. And again, just to kind of show you, these are very, very light. They are not very heavy at all at about 25 pounds each. So I can just set that back down. So super easy, especially if you're doing live sound. Again, I'm not necessarily doing live sound, but I can kind of show you over here on my setup what these look like. Again, I have two HDL 6A is kind of stacked here. And if I come around to this side, you can kind of see how I have them mounted, which is the fact that they are mounted right here with the pins. Again, I have it at the zero right now. So it puts it kind of in a straight line array formation. And again, I do have a, another cable here that actually has the XLR and power all in one so I can stack them both on top of one another. So a very nice setup right here as far as I will have, but again, I do love the aspect for these in DJing because you can stack them on top of uh, some older P uh, PVSP2s that I have here. Again, these have really great mids, which I love, and then these you can of course hook up and cross over at whatever frequency you want. I might run them at full range or maybe 100 hertz and uh, higher uh, for these tops right here, but they sound really awesome. But again, this has just kind of been a live look and unboxing of an HDL 6A. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I'll try to do a sound test as well. Again, not quite sure how the microphone on my phone here is gonna pick it up, but it might be something worth doing. But anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video of the unboxing and quick look at the RCF HDL 6A. If you guys like this video, please feel free to give it a thumbs up as well as hit that subscribe button. I'm hoping to make a few more videos about these speakers in the future. But again, I did get two of them a few months ago and these things have been absolutely stellar, very loud, very clear. Again, 1400 watts each. Again, mostly used in line array for live sound, but I'm using them, excuse me, here in my live, uh, not live, but DJ setup, my hobbyist setup. So anyways, hope to see you guys in the next video. Have a great one until then.